it's Mr. Marshall with Mesa RC Foam Fighters, and I got Wyatt here. He's an eighth grader, and this is, this is actually his second season. He's been in two seasons with us, and he's uh, come with us with the MT2 Red Dawn. Um, very, very uh, brave to tackle this plan for your very first try, um, but I'm not about to stir him away in, in any way. So. It came out beautiful. You did a really good job on this. Um, so why? Why don't you go ahead and talk about your build and what went right and what didn't go right? Um, so the first thing I, I thought that the easiest part was probably well, it took a long time just to cut out all the papers and put it all together and put it all, all the top of the foam board. But after that, the cutting out went pretty smoothly. Putting it together was smooth. The gluing that went I, I wasn't didn't do too smooth on the gluing. <laughs> That's so, okay. It doesn't look that nice. Pretty good job. Other than that, I'm pretty pumped up Cool. So you see here, um, Harrison, if you want to come in on this, here's how he set up his his linkages. Um, he's got two servos, and he's got the bottom piece going to one, and the top one bending over to the back part, and he'll do it as a mixing Elfron setup. Um, he's running the 12-6 uh, motor on here. And this is going to be a fast plane, just to let you know. It's going to be fast out there today. Oh, yeah. um, but no, overall, I think, you know, there's a, been a couple of kids who have attempted to do the Red Dawn, and this is hands down um, probably the best Red Dawn that I've seen uh, produced by students. So good job, right? Thanks. Um, so what's your next project after this one? What are you going to tackle? Um, you know, I'm doing my own design of Flying Fox, because one day I was just wondering about what kind of plane I should build and I looked down at my jacket, this jacket actually, and I was like, oh, this kind of looks like a fighting field. Cool. And I decided that I could make a plane. Well, look for that in the future. That's going to be unique. And let's get out to the uh, the, uh, the backyard and start flying this thing. Huh? First photo! First run! We'll throw it right into the camera. Oh, fart! Oh, like, God! Sorry to be recording it. Hey, it's Mr. Moss, Miss Sergeant Phone Fighters. I got Y here. We're gonna take this thing out for its maiden flights. Got it all linked up. You ready to go? Yep. Test it out. Make some changes. Let's go. Can you move it? <laughs> oh, ho, 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 ho. Okay. Now go about I don't know 75% throttle. That's good. You ready? Okay. Heads up. I don't know about this thing. <laughs> We are going until this thing breaks. Isn't that right? Oh, Sam, no. Yeah. Let's do I'm it. I'm chasing it every single time. Bro. That boy's good workout for you, though. Hey, heads up, because I moved the battery back pretty far, so heads up. Yeah. 
Yeah. If Steve and I, I, Steve and I switch over to you, it goes yeah, up. Yeah, come on. Mr. Woods. Yeah. Ah. Oh, wow. See that little flare? No, I didn't know where it's like going down. Oh, okay. Oh, you got to make it. Hey, Wyatt, here we go. picking it up I stay here so what did you learn during that flight uh, that you can't go too far and you can't go too little <laughs> <laughs> I was going way too far right now no diving yeah. were you able to see the orientation of it yeah a little bit yeah I was, right, right. okay 
but we'll definitely fly it again. Um, this is the Red Dawn, so you know it's it's definitely not the easiest task to go right off the bat. But you know, why did a good job? Um, we'll definitely fly this again on Friday and get you some more training time on meet this. And because every time I was giving it to him, he was doing a lot better. So, good job, man. Thanks. Cool. Thanks for watching.